Hey, welcome to Six Scale, everybody. Let me put the notes in the chat. Okay, um, today, uh, so please add yourself as an attendee and let's get started with the agenda. Okay, um, I was looking at this earlier. It uh, looks like maybe there's an outage in CI, and uh, I think it's um, looks like there's something with something we're, we're not able to reach Google or something. Nothing's working. So I, as far as I I got, they are updating. Oh, sorry. <coughs> They are updating the uh, Kubernetes cluster of the projects. Oh, yeah, okay. For, uh, yeah. And uh, I think they're investigating. It seems to me some network issues that I saw in some problem, but I, I have no idea. So they are investigating that. And I, I think it's already two days. Isn't it? So um, hope they, <laughs> they will fix that soon. Something went wrong with the cluster, definitely. Yeah. So well on, on the other on the other before this happened though, um around here was when um when it published when we improved the memory. So it looks like we had a good run here, a good span where we uh had some good tests. So that's a good sign. So I guess once 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 we see this back, um hopefully this will stay green. I think this uh I think we'll have enough memory now. I think this this is Gives me um, some yeah, confidence that we're going through yeah. that. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let's look at some others. Um, this. So <laughs> your 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 merge Marcelo uh, your your request merged to to make um, to fix the job. I still think that I there was this one green. I was going to look at this. Uh, I mean, this is this is good to see. I don't know what these are. I don't know why it's started failing again. We can take a look. Let's see here. Look at the green one that went green first. Mm, I think I think it was working. So this looks like we're cleaning up. Is this isn't the jobs? Okay. This is the performance cluster, so this should be using the load generator. I think it's failing the. I don't know. We we need to check that. I don't know. So because just actually this job here, it's it's ranging the RAM creation. It's create like a two hundred, four hundred, and six hundred. And I have the impression that maybe it's failing the the last scenario that when it's creating six hundred. And maybe it could be related to the to the memory footprint that increased. And maybe we cannot create 600. I don't know. We need to just investigate that. Um, you see it, it was working for the 200. I, I was checking actually the Grafana dashboard today. That's why I have this. Yeah, this is, this is 200. This looks good. Yeah. If we cannot create 600 anymore, we need to update the job and maybe you know, remove the 600. Yeah, let's see what the other one is. Or, or maybe it's something else that's failing. So we need to just check that. Okay, this is the 400. And also maybe we can, we should split, you know, have other not one job doing that and have like different jobs creating different range. So not sure. So we can discuss that. Okay, it's deleting. And okay, after that, this looks good also for the 400. And then it fails. So let's see what's happening here. Can, can you, yeah. 
experimento. Okay, is this still installing the equivert? Or, or is it already deleting it? This is the this is the end of the test, and so we're trying to clean up here. Okay, can you can you go upper a little bit there? There is also some hidden lines. Yeah, five. Okay, it's not that. Okay, can you go a little bit up here? Oh, this is strange. You see, after this test, the other one, it's... Okay, it's, it's deploying Pugver. Wait, why is it... it this is after. You're going to make cluster clean. Why is it... Oh, was the 600 one? This is the 400. This one, this one failed. This so this was the two hundred. This one succeeded. This is the four hundred. This one failed. It's not clear what failed, is it? Can Can you go to the the lower part? After the clean, the clean up. Okay, here it's it's cleaning. Yeah, can you go down? It looks fine. So can you go? What's uh, what is this? Like what the? Uh, why is it referring to VMIs that we created? What is this? Is it is it because it's not deleting these? But why are these here? I think I think what I know what's happened here. You know, this, actually this is very good. So I I wasn't able to reproduce this problem. You know, until now, sometimes when I was running many tests, you know, sequentially at the same time, some VMs gets very, you know, we doesn't delete. It keeps like stuck there. So I think that's what's happened. There are VMs that are stuck, and uh, it takes a lot of time to delete some VMs, and then it's. Well, the system it's it's completely broke now. Need to do so, but they they clean the cluster clean. You see the cluster clean fail. It wasn't even the cluster clean. Maybe was not able to clean up the cluster anymore. So we need to you know do a, like uh, I I need to go manually there and and check and clean up the cluster and see what's happening. But this is something um, that uh, even yeah, the make the, the cluster clean should be waiting for this VM to disappear, isn't it? Uh, maybe it's something that we can improve here somehow. Well, how come? I, uh, well, yeah, that that it's we should be. Yeah, but what's what? But don't we do? Uh, don't we do a delete? We have delete we, over here, right? We do. So that and I think, yeah, this doesn't and I think, work. Some of these, but we like were it says still they're still running, but they're. But we were. Yeah, so it's it maybe the VM moved to a different phase. It's not running anymore. Maybe failed, and then we'll, we'll go on to this test. Uh, we understand. We understand that the. The deletion happened. So you see, succeed phase. Yeah, we should see. So this should be a. This should show. We we should. So I don't think any are in running. This is yeah. Where we just have eighty two sitting and succeeded. So maybe that's what's happening. Is like, so we've we've left running phase, and they're just sitting and succeeded. They're just they haven't been. 
fully cleaned up yet. I think that's this that's the way I interpret this. Yes. But the, what surprised me is, you know, with the force deletion here, even a patch removing the finalizer and then it doesn't and but the, the cluster clean fail, isn't it? So and it's not easy to understand what's failed. Because it's just failed, so there is no way ever master it in the in the in the lower in the last line. Okay, we, we need to deep dive here to understand what's yeah. happening. Yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, it will be not that's weird easy. that it's staying they're staying around. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I think if you see the problem here. What I I, I got it. I think I saw this problem before. And I tried to fix this problem and, and people didn't like the way that I was proposing to fix, then I removed that. So you see that the we have this message, cube virt density 320 and not found. So when yeah. we receive this message here, it's it's just an error for the deletion. And then it fails the cluster clean. So and then this master should be, you know, uh, make the cluster clean to fail, especially because when it's trying to do this final, remove the finalizer, at this point, the VM was deleted already. And then makes sense that we will not find it anymore. So to patch it, and it's it's okay, isn't it? Um, yeah. And that, uh, so th I, I follow that. That makes sense. But one other thing, though, is like, it's surprising to me, like, what if we, um, like, should we, should we have the weight like above? Should we have this weight for the VMIs to be completely removed, not just in running phase? Like that's just yeah. being removed from running phase? Yes. And then this could be like our fallback. Like, I mean, I, like, I mean, cause I guess like above, well, I mean, I, I guess, because like, right. We want to make sure they delete correctly. We want to measure that too. So. Yeah, the problem is for example, sometimes Okay, we, it shouldn't happen. But considering the, for example, when we have, for example, namespace, Kubernetes has this problem. You know, for some, sometimes for weird re reason, an object becomes like stuck and then the, the finalizer is never removed and then it's never deleted. Um, it happens often for me if we have namespace, we just patch, remove the finalizer. And we can see here that the, the Kubevert, you know, cluster clean has this logic to actually wait. And after a while, probably the, all the pods were deleted, but the VM is still stuck there. And then it's removed the finalizer, you know, to force delete. So then what you're saying is like, we, we shouldn't, we shouldn't necessarily, we, we should just leave running phase and let something else handle the cleanup. Yeah, or, or we yeah. need to the, like uh, do, Wait, that have just the same logic that make cluster clean has. Like wait a little bit. If it doesn't remove, we need also to do this, you know, patch and remove the finalizer, which will be the same thing that the cluster clean is doing. Um, but so um, cluster clean shouldn't fail when it's try to patch a VM to delete that, and the VM doesn't exist anymore. I think this is this is something that I consider a bug in cluster clean. Um, sorry, I, I had a question. Um, yeah. Is there a way we could change the order of uh, delete, uh, deleting the resources to make sure that the finalizer goes to? Um, the reason why I'm asking this question is in my experience, whenever a finalizer is stuck, it means that the controller that is responsible for removing that finalizer was deleted first, uh, and then the resource was deleted. Uh, so the finalizer got stuck and uh, we have to manually remove that finalizer. Uh, so if we can make sure that all the operands, that is the VMIs are deleted first and then uh, uh, controller, kubeword cube controller and the entire kubeword stack is deleted, then this, if, there should not be any reason for us to delete the finalizer, right? It's a very good point. 
very good point and uh, i i wasn't i didn't think about that and it might be you see as ryan roll up if we are deleting kubevir and then we try to patch so yeah it's uh Yeah. yeah. So maybe the correct way is to delete all the VMIs first. So we we know that all the kubebot operands are deleted, and then delete kubebot operator, uh, and then uh, make sure that other cleanup is completed. Yeah, sounds like a very good plan. I think this might help. Yeah, or this might fix this. And actually, it's surprising that the order, it's <laughs> it's inverted here. I think so. Well, I think it's like trying to do the. It's it's well. I think what it's. I think really what we I think we got our answer here is that we're we're not using it as intended. We're doing like this. This this is the like the final step just to make sure everything is clean. It's not actually meant to do graceful cleaning. So we if we're if we're creating things and we want to measure. You know, we were already making an attempt at deleting. I think we're just we're not we're not following all the way through to measure to, to allow them to fully gracefully delete, which we can. Like I think the thing is, like I what I was afraid of is that we we have a bug here and that like we're just you know have VMs that are sitting there or whatever. But I don't think that's the case. It's just that we're not. We need to watch all the way through from running to when the object is removed. And I think I didn't think it'll work. Yeah, so I, I just, think, yeah, we just need to make a change in the way we handle the the, the delete. Yeah, I think it makes sense. So let, let's try then. Okay, to include that logic in our in our code, and see if it's fixed. Instead of we change the plus make cluster move because maybe if there is disorder here, they have some. Good reason for that, um, you know. To you yeah, know, and, go ahead. Um, sorry, I was saying that if we change the order, that is, make sure that VMIs are deleted first, and then kubebot is deleted, and still the deletion doesn't complete. That means there is a bug in our deletion process, right? And then at that point, we should like. Um, Go root cause that bug, fix that, and then, um, it, it, yeah, I, I'm just trying to say uh, it, that order should help. And if it doesn't, then um, th there are other problems uh, we should solve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess the point is that the the but the the cleanup script is is telling. It's actually catching us. It's, it's catching us, you know, doing this using relying on it for cleanup when we shouldn't be. So, like, yeah, like you guys said, like we should let's handle the graceful cleanup ourselves. And if if it doesn't work, then we then we have an issue, um, and we should try and we should raise that and get it fixed. So, um, yeah, let's let's include that. So it's just it's I think it's a pretty simple change. We just don't need instead of we we can we'll monitor them leaving running phase, but then we also need to monitor them monitor the object actually being removed okay well so if we also need to change the deletion order right uh, along with watching well so the well what's happening is the The, yeah, well, so what I'm saying is like the watch, um, the, so what's happening is the load generator is completing its work once it sees that all of, there are no VMs in running phase. So, right, we just need to, we just need to, we don't complete the load generator until there are, unless there's no VMIs left. That's all, instead of, um, so that would change the order earlier. That would address that issue. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I was not following. Makes sense. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no problem. Okay. All right, so that that we can do as a follow up. Okay, um, let's go to the next one. So you knew, uh, so Marcelo, um, I wanted to hear from you, like if you have any tracing results from from this issue. I don't know if you have them anywhere. I'm interesting to see if you have any. Uh, 
Oh, I forgot to pop that in somewhere. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I will. Yeah, we discussed that. I forgot to, to pop the logs somewhere. I will do that. I, I don't have it now, but maybe we can, you know, I will just copy the figure that I sent to you in here in the document. And then we can we can talk about that. Sorry, what's that, Marcelo? I missed the, the last sentence. I'll just you know, pop the figure here. I don't have the trace uh, right now. I think it's in, it's another machine. I will copy that in somewhere. But I can put here the figure that we were discussing before. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can talk about this. So this was, um, yeah, okay. How did you generate this, by the way? What did you, um, what did you do to, to find this? I I did a graph in the in the log, you know, for the the name of the the, the function, for example, update status, and I got the latency, and then I plot that, just parse the the log. Wait, so the wait, so you got this from the tracing, the traces? Is that how you did? It's from the trace. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, no, that's okay, cool. I mean, this illustrates the issue. Okay. Exactly. That's so, why I'm, I'm saying I don't have exactly the log here, but this represents the trace. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. So sync. Um, well, actually, can you walk, walk, walk us through this? Yes. Yeah, so this is a scenario. Uh, I didn't change uh, any configuration the bridge controller. You know, it's the default cars per second that was before. And I'm creating 2000 VMs in an old, and maybe put here in a, no. Sorry, I cannot speak and then write at the same time. <laughs> So I'm creating 2000 VMs in a cluster with 12 worker nodes. Okay, so it's not a very big cluster. And it means it's more or less, uh, you know, 200 uh, VMs per node. Or, okay, I need to double check if it was 2000 or, or 1000. Let me double check that before. Uh, anyway, so, oh, I have here in the live chat too. And then I got the virtual controller log. And in the virtual controller log, we have the trace results. And uh, the trace actually, it's reporting the latency of some functions when they are, uh, you know, above some threshold. And these two functions that are appearing in the log, the update status and the scene. And I got, you know, just, just do a parse and, and got all the latency from this, uh, execution of the one hour execution actually that I took and from the update status and sync. And when we see like this high latency here, it's where the VMs are being created, okay? So it's two seconds and it to uh, process this uh, up, update status and sync. Sync was slower in the beginning, but after a while it's, you know, it was not slow anymore, and but update start to remain it slow for a while, probably when up to create all the VMs. Um, but again, after I increased the queries per second, which the, the, the PR that increased that, that we, we can also point here maybe. It's not merged yet, so it's, it's because of, we have this problem with the CI anyway. Uh, increasing the queries per second, I don't see any data in the logs anymore. Because of course, the tracing, it's only showing data in the logs. If the latency is higher than one second, maybe Ryan can yeah. correct. Yeah, the threshold is one second. So when we increase the curves per second, it's everything's it's slower than one second. And then we don't see any, you know, uh, hit in log. So that, that's the conclusion. Okay. That's really interesting. So 2000 VMs and you create them all right immediately, right? It's like a kind of like a burst test. 
it's a burst test, but it has like okay. some uh, rate limit of create, creating to 20 VMs per second. Okay. So the first 400 or so we get slow syncs and then the first, it looks like about a thousand, we get slow update statuses. So in these, and this is, it's interesting how like the, how it sort of tops out here at the same level almost for both of them. It's like, I, I would want, I, it makes me curious. I wonder if this number, if you increase to 3K, if we would see this increase and in level off at like 2,500 or something, you know, like just the, it, which is sort of backs up that theory that this is just a rate limiter and we're, and it's sort of the amount of requests that we're making is just causing us to slam the rate limiter and it's, mm -hmm. and it's sort of consistently slowing us down to the, at the same, to the same rate. Yeah. Okay. And we can see that like uh, we have like uh, you know one segment already, you know, for the update status and sync on you know continuously. More yeah. or less, no. Yeah. Okay. That's uh I wonder what else we could what else I mean, have you um maybe what we could do is um uh I kinda wanna spend a few minutes looking at sync and seeing if we can identify the culprit here. Um, like maybe we can, or why don't we, because I think we'll, um, how much time do you think before, like, well, we'll ask you, how much time do you think we should take on on this? Maybe, we, why don't we go to this topic? How about that? Why don't we talk about this? And if we have time, let's spend like the last few minutes talking about, let's look at sync on, on master and let's, we can look at the traces. Let's see if we can point out a few things. I bet we can find, I think it'll be, I think in some cases it'll be obvious, like it'll be like API request or something. Let's see if we can point these out. Um, and that might be give us, that might give us something, some things we can consider as like optimizations, things that just will lower our amount of requests we make. So here, we'll do that after um, how we go through this one first. We'll, we can come back if we got time. Okay, this is um, for controller node work. There's too many key requests. Yes, so this is the experiment, you know, increasing the cars per second. Okay. And it's the first bump there. It's like the default one that it's 20 requests per second in each controller. Then I gradually increase like for 100, 200, 400, and 600 cars per second. And the virtual controller node keeps adding more, you know, retrying the keys. So when the key, typically when the key retries, that's what, uh, you know, this, this happens. It's fail to process the key and then it will requeue, you know, retry the key. So as it, maybe it's expected some, you know, very small amount of keys be, you know, add back to the queue because it couldn't process because something happened. Maybe it was rate limit, for example. But the virtual controller, it's crazily failing to process some keys. Um, unfortunately, Andrew is not here. Um, he was investigating this. He creates a PLC and sent me. Oh, he, yeah, he wrote something. I didn't. I didn't read that. So, the node controller invert controller is doing kind of monitoring of her node responsiveness and node orphaned slash errored VMIs. So by design, it's constantly requeuing nodes with one minute delay. The catch is that the controller watches for both node and VMI events. So one minute after the burst of VMI events, there will be a burst of requeue, re and queue. The reconciliation is short and simple if the node is responsive, but still can impact for controller performance. To improve this, we would reconcile nodes and VMIs, but in re and queue only on node events. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it was clear for him. I, I didn't visualize everything here, but he creates a PLC, sends okay. me the code, 
Um, I didn't test it yet. I will test to see if it works. So he will submit a PR for that. Uh, maybe next week, so we can discuss that better next in our next meeting. But I just just want to introduce that since we are working on that. Okay, it sounds um, like I think what he's saying is that the we're re, we're re queuing based on I, I don't know what the key he's talking about, but we're we're re queuing keys based on nodes. Yeah, this virtual controller has this word queue that it's virtual controller node. And uh, and this queue, the, uh, what this queue is doing, maybe what he's saying here is for checking the node responsiveness. Maybe it's you not know, just if a node failed or you know was restarted, it's updated, whatever happened to the node. And also checking for node that has orphan VMIs. So, but to, to check the node responsiveness, it's constantly requeuing that queue one minute every one minute. And maybe it's too short, isn't it? So just to check if the node it's responsive, re responding, you know. Um, that's my interpretation of this. And uh, I'm not really sure what he's doing in the PLC. I need to check the code, maybe or give it. And he, unfortunately, he couldn't join today. He could explain it better. But what he was suggesting here is instead of, let's see, reconcile this uh, node responsiveness, it's only requeuing the, the VMI uh, or, uh, to check the VMI orphan or error or, fa or failed VMI. Is it for this? Okay, so the way I'm reading this is that we're doing, we would only reconcile, so right now we're polling is kind of the, the thing that I'm getting. So we're doing, we're sort of polling nodes and checking the responsiveness. I think what he's suggesting is that we're, we do some form of watch here that we only do it, we only do things based on node events. That's, that's yeah. what I'm gathering. We, we can check more details of what's the solution and but definitely, I think that's that's the problem here. Is we should keep, you know, uh, recue, you know, recueing. Um, well, can you can you come back? I don't know how I do understand also how it increase with the so number of VMIs. I, yeah, I think what I am interpreting is that it's watch plus poll. So the watch starts the first time. Uh, a node or a VMI is created on a node. Uh, it, it, the, the node is put in the watch queue. And once it's sync, after at the end of every sync, it will requeue for the next minute, right? So what I am interpreting is that uh, after, um, after the load, uh, one minute after all the, uh, <laughs> all the node events will come and fill the work queue at the same time. And then again, uh, after every minute it will continue to do happen. So my question is, can we add some kind of jitter to the requeuing logic so that it would be requeued one minute plus delta, delta second um, after the initial resync? That would make sure that the next resync or, or uh, the next reconcile is spread out uh, across time, so performance will not be impacted. Yeah, I think this this uh, might be something that happened. I also wondering here if 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 it's doing like uh, you know checking the node responsiveness for every VMI, and uh, it's. It could, you know, I don't know, just saying, I don't know the code, we need to check that. I'm just supposing here. Because if it's checking the, the node responsiveness forever, you know, VMI, we, we shouldn't do that, isn't it? We should have something that it's checking the node times to times and it's independent from creating every VMI. Yeah. I'm just saying that well, because it's scaling it's scaling when we create more VMI. So for some for some reason, it's increasing the number of times that it's checking the node responsiveness when we create more VMIs. 
Yeah, and that's so a good guess, point. I mean, because you had twelve VMI, you had twelve nodes, right, for this test. It's, yeah, I found it. Yeah, I mean that's interesting. I I I'm curious. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I I don't know how. Um, so what led up to this? Like that that this is affecting it. That's this. I mean, how did how did you come to this? Uh, yeah, or maybe I guess not you related to the VMI. Yet. Yeah. So what? Um, it's when we increase now the the the, the, the pairs per second, the, this node controller can do more requests. And then it's crazing, you know, doing requests. And, and uh, I, I forgot the name of who was talking before, sorry. Can, can you say your name? Uh, my name is Ale. Okay, Ale. I think Ale was saying that maybe we should increase this interval, you know, or you know, that it's checking, you know, the delay between requeue this specific key, you know, to check the node responsiveness uh, to a larger interval. But I think one minute is too, is too small you know, to check that. I don't know. We can, we can discuss that. I don't know what um, other kind of controllers are doing for that. I, I think, so, well, um, it would be, sorry, go ahead. Well, I was gonna say we um we should grab Andrew for the next meeting because I um I think we have a lot of questions and we're just we're we're building a bunch of questions. I mean, I want to write some of these. Let me write some of them down because, I mean, to me, like um I, I don't understand how um how we got to like how we got to the node controller. Like I I think it's like it's like um to me it's like you're running with twelve nodes for your test. Uh, this is a, so twelve node test. How is the node controller affecting the work queue. I, yeah, I don't understand so, that. So like, I guess what what data suggests that it's the node controller that is creating the bottleneck? Is that, is that what you're suggesting, Ryan? Yeah, I, it's not clear to me because I don't. Yeah, and if, also, I don't see how it's affecting. The figure, I don't see how it's to, affecting the chart. Yeah, you see the figure. The name, the names here are the the work queue names. Okay, so we have the work, yeah, the virtual controller node work queue. The the green one is the one that is doing more. We're trying the key more often. Okay, I see. Okay, so this is the, oh, this is the worst one by far. Okay, exactly. and so so we are I creating see. like one thousand VMs. Uh, 2000 vms and uh, we can see uh, as i mentioned some ex we can expect some requeue of some keys like vm and vmi but it's very small isn't it five but virtual controller node it's eight four per second so it's mm -hmm. generating a lot of requests and okay. uh it just have yeah. like a big impact to decrease the number of requests that uh you know to the api server requests that uh Kubernetes is doing, and uh, we definitely need to decrease that. I see. Okay, I think oh, then that makes sense. I think then um, okay, then I think we have I think we have a general idea then of what. So again, I, I guess what's happening then is just making an assumption based on what we're seeing here is that the number is it's related to the number of VMIs, the node controller, the the way the node controller. Yeah, whatever I, the node I controller think, is doing it's it's, no, it scales it's, with the number of VMIs. I think so it's I what think... you said. It's related to the number of nodes. And no, but uh, you have twelve nodes, though. Yeah, but it's doing like. Uh, yeah, it's it, because it's when it requeue, it means it failed to check to do like some check, and then it requeue. But yeah, so... it's one second. Yeah, it shouldn't be eight per second, isn't it? Uh, more or less seven, or we can see more or less seven keys per second for each node, isn't it? What's more or less what's happening here? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, too, it's too much, it's too high. So we need to understand why it's recurring too much. Uh, and uh, I think this should be, if it's related, it shouldn't be related to the VMI, otherwise we are creating 2000 here, we would see much more. I, I think what is happening is, uh, so in, in the work queue, the key, that gets put is the node, but since it is watching for VMI and nodes both, 
it is converting all the VMI keys into its respective node key and then putting it on the work queue. Right. Um, that's why the work queue scales with the number of VMIs. Uh, and then it is much worse because it keeps requeuing at the at that one minute delay, right? Mm -hmm. So because of that, um, it, it is, I mean, that's how I am thinking that we are getting to this place. The problem is that if we don't do this VMI to node key mapping, how do we know that a particular node has a VMI uh, hosted on it and we need to check for its responsiveness? Um, we, we would have to list the VMIs on, on that and then uh, figure it out. So th that would be an additional work as well. So uh, that's something we'd have to think through. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think, well, yeah, it would be interesting. I, I, I think what you said about how we're doing this and the algorithm, that sounds, that sounds plausible. I, I would like, it would be good to have Andrew here and to see what his findings are or if someone also wants to look at this. Like it would be good to get a, a full explanation of this because I think we, we also need a, like we need the explanation of this and we need to understand the use case and then we can, um, it would be interesting to see what we can find because I, I really think, yeah, because I mean, I, I didn't realize that this was how, that this was the highest one on here. And this, I mean, if we, if this is, this seems like this doesn't make any sense. I mean, if this was like five or something like the rest of these, I, I wonder what our, what our QPS could get slipped down to. I mean, like quite, quite a bit lower. So, that would be so. I mean, we were talking about this input requests and whatever last time. It seems like this seems to be like our the most interesting one here. So let's um let's do some investigation. Let's hopefully maybe we can get Andrew in here next time and see what else he's discovered. And um, yeah, let's learn about this this node controller and uh, see how we can improve that. This seems to be we yeah, we seem to be circling the issue pretty. I think yeah, it's pretty obvious what the issue is here. It's, it seems that that sticks out quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. That makes sense to me. Um, that's. Uh, yeah. Let's get some more information on it, and uh, let's let's have a discussion and see if we can see if we can improve this. That's that's good. Okay. Cool. Um, what's Andrew? Uh, what's here, Marcelo? Can you take the action item? to uh, so ask Andrew to join our next meet. See if he's available, see if we can get him to come in and uh, talk about it and let's get mm -hmm. some more info about this for you. Yeah. I will, okay. I will ask him. Okay, thanks. Okay, so that's that makes sense. That's good, That that's actually really promising. I think that's, um, that's definitely a, a narrow we can make a huge improvement. All right, let's go back to, um, Let's go back to the uh, to this one. Let's look at the let's see if, let's look at the code real quick and see um, what we can learn from where the traces are. Let's sync. Let's see. So it's, it's package uh, vert controller watch vmine echo. Let's see, sync, 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 sync. Sync, I think it's here. And then there should yeah. be. Um... Oh, I think LA is sent here. The trace should be somewhere. Ah, here it is. Good. Okay, there's our trace. Okay, so here's sync. Uh, let's see, how long is this? Okay, not that long. So it's like. Like 100 lines. Okay, um, let's just look through this really quickly. Let's see. Um, okay, so this, so the to level set. So this is going when we're creating the first 500 VMs and we're creating 2K VMs on a 12 node cluster. We go from almost two seconds, two, two and a quarter seconds it takes to run through sync. Okay. And this is not included reviewing anything. I, I don't, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Like a, that's what I remember about the that the traces doesn't count the requeue. So this 
is going to take this function is going to take almost two and a quarter seconds. Let's let's see. Uh, let's start at the top. Do matching pods. P minus final. It should be a quick check. We already have the object. Delete orphan. Detach pods. It should be the part that it's oh data volume, but it, I'm not creating data volume. It's uh, finite, yeah. So it's not this. This pod exists. So yeah, it should be here. Should be here. So yeah. on process. Um, I, I, that's probably quick. I what has been processed. Yeah, okay, it just checks our phases and it'll be quick. Topology hints. I think that'll be quick too. Data volumes ready, not using them. Wait for his customer. So this is data volumes. More data volumes. Okay. Um, here it's, is, it's key. Maybe it's here is waiting for a queue. What's this? Let's just create the key in my key expectations. Expect creations. Oh, this is yeah. so this is just the expectation. The expectation, That's fine. yeah. Uh, okay, so here we do the create request. We record. Patient observe it. Okay, no, it's just right. And then yeah. we record an event. That seems fine. That should that should not take. Yeah, it shouldn't be here. Maybe. I guess. Okay, so last twenty lines or so. Okay, is wait for first customer. I think this is data volumes again. Yeah. Um, okay, so is temp pod is pod ready? So maybe it's the data volume then, isn't it? It's you think maybe it's the data volume checks? Yes. Is pod ready? Let's see, is this a get request? Maybe it's doing a lot of get, you know, and uh, and pull to request, things like that, that we saw, no, like there are a lot of pull to request. Hot plug, hot plug, hot plug. Hmm. Yeah, it, most of the, so the, the sync, it's mostly for data volume, isn't it? Seems like it. I mean, basically it's like we have the, so like, I mean, the way it summarizes is if we, if we're deleting, then we delete our pods. Okay, we're not doing that. If it's final, because it has the finalizer, um, it's in the final state, we delete the pods. So we're syncing our delete states. Orphan attached pods. You see here, maybe just this orphan attached pods. It's a nice one. List pods from namespace. You see, oh, it's getting all the pods. So it's a big list here. So here we go. We're gonna do a get for pods in namespace. So it is using the informer. So we should have some of this cache. Yeah. Okay, maybe maybe that's fine. I think yeah. I think if we want to dig that, maybe we need more traces. So you know. Right. Maybe just for the bug, you know, locally. We don't need to create a charge, include more trace, but yeah. insert insert that in the code. Okay. Yeah, it would be interesting, Marcelo, one right here uh, for this one. Yeah, I'm I'm curious about I mean this is this is orphan to touch by I mean, yeah, it would be yeah, I mean we're gonna have to right, we would have to do this list every time. I would be interested in yeah, in seeing this one. What else? Like um uh, I mean, maybe this one. I don't know. Like, yeah, so we'll sync data. Let's volume. see if this returns right away. If it's not a not even data volumes, I don't know. So we're looking at the volumes. This should be quick if we're I volume ready just... to attach to node. What's this? I think it's just getting some states. And so... 
Take us all in. Okay, it's also doing some gets here. Hmm. But from from the cache. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure if the problem. Yeah. Yeah, the, the point is when I, when I increase the curse per second, just this the sync it's very fast now. So definitely was we see we see we are trying we are seeing a lot of get from cache, but it was waiting, you know. Uh, I don't know if that's exactly here. Maybe some function was not using the cache. I don't know. Okay. Well, I mean, it would be interesting to see, like, I mean, some areas that, um, let's see if we can get to it. There we go. If we can, um, like, this play, this line would be interesting. Oops. Where did I go? Um, oops, I lost the. This line, and then I think this line too would be interesting to see. Traces at and um, I mean the rest of this looks pretty straightforward. I mean this the rest of this looks very quick. Wait for customer temp pod or yeah. I mean it's it's yeah. I don't think anything in here looks like it's doing anything with the the API. It's just those two. Yeah. And maybe Marcelo, when you do, if you want to do your ne the next time you do this test, um, just throw a step trace, just basically copy. Um, I think uh, is it like this. I think it's. Uh, I think you just add what you do is add it. It's not. I don't think it's exactly like this. I think you have to. Um, oh, what you have to do is you have to do a. You don't sort of change. Remove this defer. Add a step trace, uh, and then add another step trace here, and another step trace here. And, but the last one that you do, make it a defer just so that we can, um, so it runs through the rest of the function. And that'll do it. That's a, it's basically a copy and paste, just change the, um, change this to whatever, um, whatever we're, we're tracing, delete touch pods or delete orphan to touch pods or data volume check. And, and that'll, that'll do it, it's, it's pretty easy. Okay. Uh, I think I will have the cluster until, you know, Sunday. I will try to do that tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, give that a shot. Let's see, I'm really curious to see what we'll find. Okay. All right. Should we do update status too then? Let's, uh, we got four more minutes. Um, where is update status? Update status, this one. Okay. How long is this one for this one is doing a lot of things. Yeah, yeah this one looks like it's about 300 lines. Okay. Let's see if anything sticks out to us. Um, no, no, no. Thinking for the pod. Pod is this. Is this? Oh, so it's just taking the object, right? Yeah. Which we already have. Select pods, sync ready condition from pod is this. Oh, okay. So we're doing so it could be some gets, some updates as well. Yeah, some put operation here. Uh, update, batch, whatever. Okay, that's that's one area that is of interest. Okay. Sync ready, sync pause. This might be the same. Patch. Okay. 
Okay, that's interesting. So this this whole block is kind of interesting. Okay, status, 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 status updates. Um, topology, topology, conditions. Status, remove condition. my copy this one okay so I just okay uh the pod fail they're going down this, is, this doesn't look like it'll be a get because we have the pod object okay um condition and conditions schedulable condition 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 more conditions Add pod condition. This looks like it's doing some work. It's just processing the keys there. Yeah, it's just, it's not, it's just, yeah, we're just using the local object. We're just yeah. editing it. Events, pod plug, pod plug. I think we're going to use this. Hot plug pods ready. What are we doing here? Yeah, but only if it's hot plug exists. So since I'm not using that. Does it so gate it here? Hot plug rate. Yeah. It checks the, the condition there. Where does it oh. gate hot plug though? What? You see. GMI has hot plug. So probably it's false and then just return. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay. Then it probably, okay. Yeah. Um, where were we? Hot plug ready, update volume status. Yeah, it's this crazy. Why it takes one it's second? Final. Seems like very simple. Yeah. Here'll be my patch, and then we do a patch right here. Transition time. Okay, so it's yeah. always patching, you see? So Sorry? it's it, alt key the update. VM is running and it's scheduled. It's so here are the areas, I think, like. So this is okay, so uh, it's all, all the time that's all the time that sync. Well, oh, sorry, it's updated. All the maybe it's because it's it's always patched the VM, and and here's the first time that we see directly you know calling the client. Yeah, and uh, here, it's fine. We cannot change that. And uh, but yeah, no, saying, it's. Here's another we, one too. The rate limit will impact a lot. This yeah, I mean, this might just be right. We're hitting the rate limit, and that's, and that's it. Yeah, which is is what it is. Like we need an update. That's fine. Um, so those two, and then um, what was the one up here? Are there two up here? Not two. It was um, is it this one? No, it's this. This sync right here. This one. Those three areas. They look like hot pass. Yeah. The rest of it looks like it's just removing conditions. We're just editing YAML, it looks like so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, so then Marcel, maybe when you do your next experiment, you can try try copying that tracing around and we'll see what see what you find. If you hopefully you still have this tool. We can we can reuse this and it would be cool to see if we you can have another chart that shows like based on some of this data, that'd be really cool. Yeah, it was just a graph cool. in the log so that would be easy to do again. Yeah, cool. Okay. All right, we're at time, um, guys. Thank you very much for your time. We'll see you all next week. Thanks a lot. Hey, thank you. All right, all right. thank you. Bye-bye.